Hey, it's Mike here, and today we're gonna take a really quick look at a really recent study that put vegan athletic performance to the test, and well, you might think it's my sort of troll title here, actually, the title of the study literally asks the question, quote, is a vegan diet detrimental to endurance and muscle strength? And this was published in the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition by Nature, which is a legit journal just about a week ago, so this is hot off the press. Let's go through the study, see how it was done, see if there were any conflicts of interest, and the conclusion. Anyway, let's go. I'm not sure what inspired the researchers to do this, but in the wake of the Game Changers documentary, which showcased a ton of super amazing vegan vegan athletes, from strength people to endurance people. There's definitely a lot of interest around this and a lot of people wanna see the studies and so, of course, you had a certain camp that wanted to outright deny all of the athletic accomplishments in that movie. So we'll see if this study uh, lands in their favor or not. So the study took 28 vegans who were vegan for an average of four years, which is quite solid. And then they compared them head to head up against 28 meat eaters. And both groups were young, physically active women. So come on, I know where you're going with this, researchers. All right, guys, here I got the idea. How about we get 60 fit young hot chicks and make them do physical stuff for our next study? In fact, check the sororities first. In fact, check Kappa Kappa Booty Booty first because they never responded to my text messages. Gotta get some revenge. That's a window into academia right there. No, I'm kidding. I'm sure these researchers were great. And they had the main motivation for this study, they say, was to put to the test the general notion that vegans are weaker in terms of athletics. They wanted to know, is this a myth? Is this reality? And so they took both of those groups and they put them through a bunch of tests. Some were strength and some were endurance. And the results, well, looking at them, both groups were comparable for physical activity levels, BMI, percent body fat, lean body mass, and muscle strength. So these were two very comparable groups of people, and in terms of the strength test, there was not a meaningful difference in how much they lifted, but... Quote, however, vegans had a significantly higher estimated VO2 max of 44.5 versus 41.6 and endurance time to exhaustion, 12.2 versus 8.8 .8, compared with omnivores, aka meat eaters. And for those that aren't familiar with VO2 max, we're talking about a measure of fitness that is the maximum amount of oxygen that you can take in as exercise gets more and more intense. This is not a fun test to do. But unlike the normal hooking up to masks, this study simply used a calculated VO2 max using what they called a validated equation on body weight and power output on their Dutch exercise bike. And in case you're wondering, according to this study, this method is accurate with a 3% margin in soldiers, so probably pretty good. So in terms of intense exercise and oxygen utility, the vegans were notably better, not insanely better, but then when it comes to that endurance, the vegans lasted 40% longer, which is huge. And for that one, they were put on a cycle machine and quote, participants were asked to pedal until voluntary exhaustion was achieved. Volunteers had to maintain a speed between 70 and 80 RPM during the test. And this definitely lends some credence to that scene in Game Changers where James Wilkes is like, going on the ropes forever and he keeps going and he's like breaking the records and his endurance was just way higher than it previously was. Anyway, in terms of cardio, the vegans hands down one and in the discussion based off these findings, they even say, quote, these findings contradict the popular belief of the general population popular. And I have to admit, backing up to that title, I was a little bit worried with the whole is a vegan diet detrimental title because there are so many studies that come out where <laughs> It's the industry trying to make a vegan diet look bad or meat look really good. And so, you know, if some industry scientists wanted to redo the same study and just completely cook the books, they probably could, as long as they're completely unethical. Hey, you uh, fine honey right there, are, are you in the vegan group by chance? Oh, yes, I am in the vegan group. Oh, you are? Okay. Kuklunk. Ow, what was that for? Oh, it's just part of the study. Don't worry about it at all. My phone's actually uh, ringing right here. Yep. Hey, this is Norb calling about peer reviewing your study. How is it that the vegan group got five minutes in the 100 meter dash? They're weak, what can I say? Excuse me, I'm getting a call uh, from the beef checkoff. I mean, sorry, my boss, uh, I gotta go. But you can probably guess by the results of this study that that was not the case. This was not another industry funded study. 
It was actually looking to the conflicts of interest and the funding done at the University of Quebec, Montreal, and the conflicts of interest are none. So the study seems to be very legit, and it explains a bit of the results of athletes like Scott Jurek, ultramarathoner, who has a ton of wins with 100 mile runs. And he also had that US record for the longest distance run in 24 hours. But someone might say, oh, well then why isn't every single record in the world held by a vegan? Well, the reality is vegans are still a super small portion of athletes. And when athletes might have a tendency to go vegan, they're actively pressured to not go vegan based off this exact notion. And, and there's that association between meat and training and the researchers actually say, that people should not be discouraged to go on a vegan diet if they're trying to do something athletic. And really quick, I wanna explore why the vegans outperformed in terms of cardio. And the first reason that comes to mind is simply artery health. Even these younger females are eating high animal fat meals. If they're eating meat, that could impair artery function and dilation. And the vegan group, of course, is not doing that. Another one that's really simple is they did a little breakdown of their dietary intake. And it's very clear that the vegan group, as is always the case in the literature that I've seen, was eating more carbs. Yet, of course, they had lower total body fat percentage. Interesting. And so that would give them more glycogen stores, which would help them endure that exercise longer. But maybe that wasn't it, we don't really know. And another point from that dietary intake is that as usual, the meat eater group was eating twice as much saturated fat as the vegan group. Anyway, now let's talk about some limitations really quickly because yes, this was just a study on young women and people are, every guy thinks that they're a bodybuilder. And so they're gonna probably go, oh, this wasn't on high, weightlifting, training, bodybuilding professionals, so therefore it does not apply to me. <laughs> First of all, because of the cardiovascular nature of the human body and how we're not really that different in that area in terms of endurance between genders, I think that this probably applies to both genders and virtually all people's cardiovascular range, but it's pretty clear that it applies to most people. And then in terms of strength, yeah, it would be great to see another study that looked at vegan versus non-vegan bodybuilders, and we'll just have to wait for that one. But at least from this study, there does not appear to be a disadvantage in terms of strength for vegans. And I would also love to see a recovery study, especially because vegans have lower levels of inflammation. So much research could be done anyway. In the end, a uh, vegan diet is definitely definitely not detrimental to athletic ability. And these vegans, endurance-wise especially, were lasting way longer. It's clear that vegans last 40% longer, apparently. So that's something you can take home with you. So maybe this will breathe some new life into the whole vegans do it better <laughs> meme. Anyway, you get the point. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. And if you want, share the video. Actually, just share that last five seconds I was talking about. I'm kidding. I'll see you guys in the next one.